Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in uh, this video, I'm going to demonstrate um, how to build a frame relay connection uh, point to point uh, within GNS3 uh, using the frame relay switch. And I'm also going to be uh, demonstrating um, BGP uh, route aggregation, uh, BGP route dampening, and using BGP uh, suppress maps and unsuppressed maps. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's go ahead and build our connection, our frame relay connection. All you do is uh, right click on the frame relay switch. Let's rename this frame relay switch. And then uh, configure. And we're just gonna create our DELCs here. Port one is gonna be mapped to DELC 102 and port two is gonna be mapped to the DELC 201. We're just gonna add that. Apply, okay. And then uh, all you gotta do is simply just click on our links here, go down to serial and router one, just click on it. And then click on the frame relay switch and we're gonna be using port one, which is 102, the Delsey. And then for router two, use a serial connection. We're gonna click on it and we're gonna be using the second port, which is uh, Delsey two. Port 2, DLC 201. So now that the DLC connection is mapped on the frame relay switch, we gotta just start the routers and, uh, and then configure um, you know, our frame relay point to point connection. here we gotta set the encapsulation to frame relay it's frame relay link then we go into uh, exit out and then go into the sub interface we're going to create with the frame relay connection uh, it's a serial zero dash zero dot one two and we're going to put in your point to point that's what uh, kind of frame relay connection we're using here and then on our sub interface we should put in our IP address which is one set which is up here. We're using the 172.16.1.0. So I'm gonna put 172.16.1.1.252 submit mask and then under here we're gonna put the frame relay interface DLC 102 to specify our DLC on the local interface that we're using. And then we gotta exit out, get back into the interface for zero 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 and do uh, no shut and now we go ahead and uh, do the same thing here on the other router <coughs> router two That's all done. 
Now I'm going to go into my serial connection, my our serial zero zero, and set up. I got to change encapsulation first thing <coughs> for frame relay. Then I'm going to go into the uh, sub interface. Here, my sub interface is a point to point frame relay connection. And uh, under here, I'm just going to specify my IP address. Local IP is 172.16.1.2. On the mask. Then under here, I'm going to configure my frame relay interface delta command. Frame relay interface delta two to one, because that's what I remember. That's what I uh, set it up for on the frame relay switch. So I got to go back under the uh, physical interface and you know shut it. and I can ping router one. So frame relay connection is up and working now. Uh, now we can just go ahead and uh, get our BGP up. Router BGP 200 is the local autonomous system number for router two. And I'm just gonna configure the neighbor command. The neighbor is pointing to uh, uh, router one, which would be 172.16.1.1. The remote time system there is 100. back over here to router 1 and basically create the other side. Router BGP local autonomous system number is 100. Then we're going to configure the neighbor 172.16.1.2. Remote autonomous system number is 200. So we're pointing towards each other and that would be an external BGP connection. Again under here I can also I want to advertise my uh, loopback interface so I'm just going to put it in here. 192.168 0. Uh, I guess first I want to put in no auto summary so I'd be able to uh, advertise my subnets with BGP advertisement or update messages. So no auto summary, no synchronization, no auto summary, no sync. That way I can go under here and just put in network 17. 192, 168, 10.0, and on the router 2, I'm going to do the same, 192.168, 1.0, I'm just going to go in here and configure uh, all my loopback interfaces, I'm going to advertise those into BGP. I go on a router 1 and I can check to see it, just do a show IP BGP. Some, and I know that it's up, connection's up for about a minute now. My neighbor is over here, autonomous system number 200, it's router 2. Uh, if I do a show IP BGP, you can see the networks that I advertised from router 2, they are being propagated to router 1. I can try to ping them 192.168.1.1, and it was successful. Over here, do the same, show IP BGP. I can see uh, the 10 network that I'm advertising on router 1. I can ping it, 192.168.10.1, so we're good. We got BGP connectivity.